And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Well, we are going to leave the studio and send things out to Carson Vickroy, who is live in the field. Carson, how is it out there? Mm -hmm. So we are in Flint, and you can see behind me uh, these little wheat crops, weed crops. I don't know, I don't know what you can call them, but they're blowing in the wind, so it is windy outside and we will continue to see that wind really kick up that Gulf moisture. Speaking of which, a live look outside in Tyler. Now, one of the good good tidbits of news that we have is we have plenty of sunshine in the area. That's not going to be a problem today. We're not going to see any rain or anything like that. But as we look at our temperature readings, we are generally in the low to middle 80s. Right now, I've got our warm spot in Henderson. Our cooler spot is in uh, Palestine and Mount Pleasant with temperatures in the lower 80s, lower 80s as well for Gilmer and Mineola. Now, dew point wise, we're looking at upper 60s and lower 70s. That really hasn't changed all that much, and it's going to be a very warm and humid day for us. And today's forecast, we've got lots of sunshine in the forecast. It may be a little hazy, as we mentioned yesterday. That is uh, large in part to the New Mexico and West Texas wildfires, and that smoke continues to stream into some of the upper levels of the atmosphere, but it's also hot today. It's going to be hot, humid, probably feel like 95 to 100 degrees. Is there relief overnight tonight? The answer would be a little bit. I do expect those temperatures to fall into the lower 70s and kind of like what we saw today. I do expect those clouds to move back in by tomorrow morning. We could be just partly cloudy, but we will still definitely see passing clouds after midnight. Now here's satellite and radar. Most of the action this morning occurred for parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas, but still a couple of showers and thunderstorms to our north and to our east, but rain chances they are on the way. Here's future cast. Now that rain, it's not going to happen today and for most of tomorrow, we're really not going to see those rain chances increase all that much. But as we roll into Friday evening, we're talking about eight o'clock. That is when we do start to see those bubble ups of showers and thunderstorms along that dry line you see on your screen. And eventually that will try and move into our area. But by early Saturday morning, we're talking one, two in the morning. The atmosphere is going to be less unstable, which means those storms may fall apart a little bit as they get here. But moving through the day Saturday, we get a break Saturday morning, but Saturday evening. Know this if you have those outdoor plans Saturday evening, we could see those showers and thunderstorms refire. So we will have to keep a close eye on that. By 9 o'clock, we do have a lot of storms in our western counties. Advancing this to our Sunday, this is 7 o'clock Sunday, we do get a break. but. Once again, the severe weather outlook for our severe weather outlook for early tomorrow morning into early Saturday morning. It is a level one marginal risk of severe weather. The primary threat is to our northwest for Saturday. It's also a level one marginal risk, but I'm not necessarily worried about those storms. I'm more concerned with the prospect of high rainfall totals. Sure, we could see a storm go severe. Most storms can do that here in East Texas at this time of year with strong wind gusts, 60 to 70 miles per hour, and also pocket change hail can be a culprit as well at this time of year. But the rainfall totals through next Wednesday, this could create some flash flooding. We could see two to four inches of rain and multiple rounds of rain are expected through next Wednesday and Thursday. Next seven days, for East Texas, temperatures will be in the low to middle 90s for today and tomorrow afternoon. About a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms for your Saturday and additional rain chances a little later on in the week. Of course